Hi Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your January 1st to the 15th, 2020 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and also to subscribe to my, cha my channel. So let's dive in, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, and see what this time period holds for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move your Spirit Guide Animal Cards over to the side, and I'm going to be layering these on top of your tarot cards at the very end for the extra insight and extra depth of knowledge that Spirit provides through these. And I'm going to be moving your botanical oracle cards over to the side, and I'll be using those in just a moment. So let's see now, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus, what Spirit has to say about January 1st to the 15th, 2020. Scorpio. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Ooh, sorry, these all turned around. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. At the center of everything, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, that's you. So, okay, before we go any further, the Enchanted Forest Forest Tarot deck, which every deck that I'm using is linked in the in the description box below, all right? Everything is named differently. So this is the death card, even though it's named the Black Shock. So here you have you shining through right at the center of everything. You are represented by the death card in the major arcana, Scorpio, and you're represented by the cups in the minor arcana. So the essence of you shines through. And then there's the eight of challenges, which is the eight of swords. I'm going to be equating everything back to the Rider Waite Smith deck since that's the one most people are the most comfortable with and the most knowledgeable of. Then we have the hangman, the three of visions, the three of cups, the child of spells, the child of wands, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Then we have the ten of spells, the ten of wands, and the four, the four of boon, the four of pentacles, the four of spells, the four of wands. The repeat of the number four is saying that it's time to take care of your soul, yourself, the, the, the temple of your body, you know, your body, which is the temple of your soul. And then we have the two of challenges, the two of, of swords, and the ten of boon, the ten of pentacles. You have a repeat of the number ten, so you're coming to the end of a cycle, right? The repeat of the number four is saying that you have to take care of you. And what I'm really seeing here is that as you are moving forward, you have met with a lot of challenges and a lot of, of doubts and fears that have had you protecting yourself here, Scorpio. And what you are doing now is you're going from the defensive to actually being able to enjoy yourself, actually being able to move forward. And you are releasing negative energy that has been like a ball and chain around your neck. And this is because you are stepping into the power of yourself. And if you have watched my videos before, Scorpio, you know that I see you as being able to see the grays of things, being able to see the in-between of life and existence. And that is so powerful and so profound. Now, before I go any further into the tarot reading, let's see what the botanical oracle cards have to say. Scorpio, January 1st to the 15th, 2020, Scorpio. 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 Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Right, right here. All right, we have brightening. We have brighten, which is absolutely beautiful. And we have strength. So your abilities to see, your ability to see the gray of things, your ability to see the in-between, which is so important, 
All right, and, and that's what I'm seeing is the essence of this whole entire reading. You can see what others cannot, all right, is brightening your reality, brightening the, the power of your knowledge and of your truth, and is strengthening your resolve to be able to move forward towards what it is that you want, towards what it is that you desire. The color that shines through here is yellow. That's healing and cleansing your solar plexus chakra. That's being able to listen to your gut reaction to things and your gut desires. So as you listen to your gut, you strengthen your truth. And the color that shines through here is red. That's healing and cleansing your root chakra, which helps you not only have all your other chakras fall into alignment, but also brings an alignment of your energy of self, your sexual energy, your energy of personal power and creation. And that is going to be what moves you forward and what really helps you be able to stand your ground. And when I say the strengthening of sexual energy, it doesn't mean, you know, go out and have a lot of sex. But if, I mean, if that's what you want to do, go for it. But what I'm seeing here is that it is a sense of, it is a sense of strengthening your personal connection with yourself, with what you desire and where it is that you want to be. And if you have here, Scorpio, a partner that you're absolutely crazy about, and of course you two wind up having a lot of sex during this time, that's absolutely fantastic, but it would be very detrimental to your personal wealth and well-being to have a bunch of casual relationships with people during this time that don't mean anything, because what it's going to do is they're actually going to wind up draining your energy and making it harder for you to move forward towards your goals. So that's just a warning out there for those of you who, yeah, who may need it at this time because it came through loud and clear. So just, just to kind of clear the air with that and what Spirit was saying. I know it's a bit different, but it is definitely what Spirit was saying because here there's a mystery to you that people are going to find very attractive, absolutely positively very attractive during this time. And unfortunately... The people who are going to be attractive, attracted to you will not always be the ones who are the most beneficial to you during this time. And I'm not saying, you know, just don't go out with anybody if you're single, but I am saying be very, very careful with whom you trust and where you move forward and how you let people in. All right, and this doesn't just mean for romantic relationships. This means for every single aspect, aspect of what you desire to create in your life and how you desire to move yourself forward. Because there is something that you're going to be seeing and his eyes, okay, the black shuck's eyes just stand out to me so much more than anything else. It's like your eyes see and are a beacon for what others do not understand and what others cannot see, All right? So you're going to be the seeing the truth of things and this is actually going to show you because you think there are two ways of being. One is the reflection of yourself that you're seeing, which isn't fair to you. It just isn't. And the other is going to be the path that other people have said that you should walk. There's a third option here. There's this third option between what is reflected back to you and the reality of your existence that you are going to be walking. But there has to be something where you see the truth within yourself. You see the truth within your power, within the way you want to move forward and what it is that you are developing for yourself. Because as you see the gray of things. And what I mean by this is so much of life, people want things to be black and white. And by that, I mean a white page, black print, everything being very, very clear, very laid out. There are specific rules. There are specific ways things are done. All right. So what I see here is that you being able to see the gray is going to make you look at yourself. And we can see this in this triangle right here. If I lay the cards down, you're right at the base Okay, the way you see yourself, the way you're moving forward is also at the base. And above is suspension, right? This is the hangman. So which means that you see things differently than everybody else, especially during this time. So that is why, you know, being in romantic relationships with or getting entangled with people who do not see things the same way you do can be very scarring on your heart, your soul, and yourself. It doesn't mean that you have to be exactly the same. It means that they have to respect you. And they have to respect the way that you see the world and the vision for your future. And as you embrace your passion and your prosperity, as you move forward, you're going to see that more of the gray comes up. More of the in-between becomes your reality. And at times you will think, does anybody understand me? The answer is, yes, people do understand you. But it's not going to be, but everybody doesn't. And those who don't understand you are going, you're going to be much more sensitive to because we as human beings have been programmed since 
you know, our creation since we were developing, to remember the negative instead of remembering the positive. And as a water sign energy, Scorpio, you're going to find it much easier because you live off of emotions, even though you you live in the in-between of what is said and what is unsaid, okay? So you live in kind of the truth of things and a little bit more on, you know, kind of a darker side. And it doesn't mean that that's bad. I very much believe that, you know, the dark brings so many mysteries and so many beauties into our, and so much beauty into our lives. But that's it. The dark is seen to is seen to hold mysteries because the witch doesn't come out of the forest in the middle of the day saying hi. I like to bake you some cookies. You know, it's always a malevolence within the fairy tales within Shakespeare. You know, witches are find, found at night. We can see that in Macbeth. So with wish, witches being found at night, with mysteries being found at night, that's going to be a place where you live. You live in the place where mysteries are revealed. And as mysteries are revealed, you see yourself in a different light, in a different passion, all right, in a different truth. And you're going to find out that your unique way of viewing the world, Scorpio, is not bad at all. It is absolutely highly beneficial to you. But there is something here that is profoundly overwhelming with the aid of challenges. There's something that you're taking astoundingly seriously. And you may have to take it seriously. But it feels like you are being scratched up, cut up, bruised, and discarded at times. You know, just kind of like, oh, just sit down, it's not really that bad. Where poison is running through your veins, not literally, metaphorically speaking. There is a sense of feeling overwhelmed, feeling as if, you know, you can't get to where it is that you want to be. Overthinking, overanalyzing. And it runs through you because our minds dictate so much of how, of how we work and how we move forward. And what I'm seeing here is that I firmly believe that we are emotional beings and water signs more so than anybody else. So here, you are a water sign. You are an emotional being who sees the in-between of the world. And that has become overwhelming. And what I'm seeing here is that there's a sense of being caught in your own mind, caught in your own ideas. And that is before you embrace the fact that you see the world differently. And that's actually a gift. That is actually a gift. It is something that makes you highly unique. And I understand that being unique, yes, everybody wants to be unique. Everybody wants to be creative. Everybody wants to be this sense of, of special. But it also makes things very hard. It does make things very hard especially if being much more sensitive. You know, people sit there and say, oh, you know, I, I forgot you're sensitive about things. And they always say it in kind of this underhand, insulting way. So what I'm saying here is use your sensitivity to the highest of your advantage because you are that water sign energy. You are that person of feeling. You are that person of ebb and flow within society. And as you move forward, you're going to see that, yes, you see things differently, but it is absolutely empowering to you. So don't think of it as a curse because you're going to be very inclined to think of things, to think that you're wrong and think the way that you're seeing things, Scorpio, is a curse. Oh my gosh, you know what? I just can't see things like everybody else. I just can't play the game like everybody else. Why am I so different? Here, with the four of spells, the four of wands, this is the minor arcana kind of wedding card. This is the celebration. This is the commitment as strong as a wedding. You know, a commitment as binding as a marriage, leading you forward. Now, for some, it is going to be that, you know, kind of kissing frogs and then finding your prince or your princess or whomever it is that you're looking for. But here, with the with the four of spells, you're moving towards a commitment for yourself, a commitment to yourself towards your heart's dream. And it has been so hard to express what it is that you want, that you, you're this close in giving up on you. You're this close. Okay? Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't throw away everything that you have been working for. Yes, you might have to change things. You might have to switch things up and be like, okay, you know, this isn't working for me. Going at it this way isn't working. So I'm going to take this route. I'm going to go, you know, it's kind of like the door is locked and you've been sitting there trying to open the door. If you can't get through the front door, break the window. If you can't get through the window, go under, you know, break down the door. There are alternate routes. And what I'm seeing here is that you are highly successful. You are highly prosperous. You are highly bountiful. All right. And you have to embrace your personal skills. Now, it does not mean that you will become, you know, a multi-billionaire. It does mean that you will embrace the skills that divinity blessed you with when you were born. And everybody has talents. And it's living to the highest extent of your talents. It's doing the very best job that you can do. My grandpa worked three jobs, two to three jobs his whole entire life. He worked himself all the time. 
right? And he did those jobs to the very best of his ability. He was not highly educated. He was taken out of school when he was, what, sixth grade, 12 years old? Because his parents said, he got told that he was really smart, and so his parents said, you're smart enough, you can go and work now. Right? He rose to the highest level of his ability. He used his skills. And that's what I see here, because I keep on seeing my grandpa's face. That's what I see here, you doing. It's not sitting there and saying, woe is me. Because that's so easy. And that derails everything. That puts you off track. Life is hard. Yes, it is. Life is hard for every single person, even though everything you see on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter is about, you know, happiness and joy and, oh my gosh, my life is so great. Everything is edited. You know, we live in a social media world. We live in reality TV, you know, in a world of reality TV where there's nothing real about it. So here, be married to your truth, your power. Don't guard your eyes. Don't sit there and guard the most vulnerable parts of yourself because everything's going to fall apart. It's not. And if it does, you will get up and you will keep on going because you are strong and you are powerful and you are magnificent within yourself. There's such a resilience to the human nature and you might sit there and think, oh no, I can't do this anymore. You know, it's all so hard. It's going to be hard. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to sit there and say it's going to be roses and butterflies and, you know, everybody lives happily ever after forever and always. This is coming very close to your happily ever after. And the Ten of Boon, the Ten of Pentacles, reiterates it. You're embracing here a passion, okay? But you're learning about that passion too. You're learning about your inner magic, your inner power with the Child of Spells, the Child, the, what is it, the Page of Wands, all right? So here, Fire Sign Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're learning how to embrace your passion, how to embrace your power, how to move yourself forward. And you will see this come forward during fire sign time periods, okay? Aries time period, March 21st to April 19th, all right? Leo time period, July 23rd to August 22nd. And then Sagittarius time period, November 22nd to December 21st. Those are going to be times of great learning for you. They're also going to be times where you can see prosperity growing. Now, this is wealth or something you value as much as money. So it doesn't have to be that you win the lottery. It doesn't have to be that you get that promotion that you have been working so hard for. It does mean that something in your life, as you embrace your power and you move away from fear, because fear is going to hold you back. Fear is going to keep you from getting to where it is that you want to be. The overcoming of fear, the feel of the fear and do it anyway, is going to be what moves you forward to the, senti- sen- to the scene of bounty and beauty, to the scene of having more than enough and being able to share it with those who are the most important to you. Now, as I said, you're coming to a completion of a cycle, right? That completion of a cycle lets you see your soul's truth clearly and lets you move forward towards what you truly desire, which is the sense of being able to take care of you and not having your energy drained, not having yourself be brought down. There's a brightening of your life and a strengthening of your soul. And this is where the Ten of Spells comes in. You're leading the the way, all right? And I look at this, and what I think is very interesting is everybody else is talking to people and dancing around and seems to be having a really fun time. But she who is leading the way has her shoes off, right? Everybody else has their shoes on, is holding her shoes, is looking down, and is walking. Now, I see this as you. You are leading the way. And this is your ancestral truth, everything that has made you up, everything that you have heard, okay? Generational truth. This is your past life truth, all right? This is everyone you have been and will become on your journey in this life on this world, in this world. So here, you are leading the way and it's hard to see the joy. It's hard to see the celebration because you're making sure you you step so carefully. Don't be so careful about things. Yes, be careful, be mindful, but embrace your passions, embrace your creativity because here with the three of vision, the three of cups, there is a sense of joy and happiness and prosperity coming in and celebration coming in but be very careful who you trust because I always, 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 always when I read the three of cups 
It is be mindful of who you trust and do not trust blindly. If I read it as, you know, celebration, happiness, joy, go out, meet new people, have fun, don't worry about things, it comes out wrong, right? So I'm not going to do this to you. I'm going to tell you to be mindful. I'm going to tell you do not trust people blindly because that's what Spirit is telling me. Do not trust people blindly here. Do not think, oh, they have my back. They know what it is that I truly want. They see the same vision that I do. No, because they're going to have their own interests at heart. And it's not always going to align with your own. And it can be that a betrayal is coming up from somebody who you had really trusted. And this is a betrayal that already happened, but it's going to come in the forefront of your mind. It's going to make you question. It's going to make you look at things. It's going to make you think, am I headed the right way? Am I doing the right thing? The answer is that you look at yourself differently because of what you have been through. And as you move forward, you're sitting there and you're questioning, you know, the roads that you are taking. Do not get hung up on what you see as imperfections. Everybody is imperfect, right? And as you see your imperfections and you understand your imperfections, right? Don't, yes, try to improve yourself, but don't get hung up on changing them. Like everything has to be perfect right now. There is no such thing as perfect. There is only a striving to do the very best that you can. And you might say, okay, Dana, but that's perfect. No, perfect is having to do everything just right all the time and there's no margin for mistake. Don't do that to yourself. You will take all the joy out of living and all the mystery will fall away and you thrive, Scorpio, on the mystery. It's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate that you have gotten this far. It's time to celebrate everything that you have done right because it's so easy to see what you have done wrong, especially with the four of Boon, the four of Pentacles here which for me is the vampiric energy card. It is the thieves. You know, this person, I see her as having stolen, you know, the pie, or at least going away with the pie without feeling any, you know, happiness or joy towards the meal that she's about to eat. So here, there is a sense of being drained, of being overwhelmed, of people's negativity coming in and feeling as if I can't move forward, all right? And what I highly recommend doing when the vampiric energy card comes in, is visualizing yourself surrounded with golden light, right? Or, yeah, surrounded by golden light and see like strands of golden light coming into you, okay? Kind of like vines coming in. And some of that golden light is corrupted. It just is corrupted. It's corrupted by living. It's corrupted by the pain and the sorrows that you have been through. It's corrupted by the people you have been with, all right? So, or that you have met, you know, that have just been in your life. So here, this is where you see your guardian angel. Envision your guardian angel or your spirit guide or whomever it is that you feel comfortable with spinning a golden sword, a flaming sword, and severing all that golden light and all that negativity around you, right? And you might be saying, Dane, I want that golden light. I want that light of divinity coming to me. I, like, I want that light of the universe coming the healing light coming around me. What it is doing is it is strengthening that light. So see that light again come over you, come into you, right? But every bit of corruption that was there, every bit of negativity, of hardships, of pain that was growing has been severed away. And now, as you free yourself, right, you have already always seen things differently. Now you start to embrace this difference and you're going to get messages from those who have passed, right? You have this dragonfly right there. And the dragonflies for me represent messages coming from those who have passed, passed on to the other realm, those who are deceased. So know that as you move forward, right? Yes, you are going to be seeing different things differently. Embrace that difference. Embrace your uniqueness. Embrace your specialty, your specialness, right? And know that you are being guided by those who have come before you, right? Especially those that you have known who have loved you deeply, they are going to be guiding you, moving you forward. And that's going to be something that helps you celebrate the glory of life, celebrate the marriage to your higher self, to where it is that you want to be and what it is that you want to succeed at and achieve. And that also has you looking at yourself differently, has you seeing yourself as being able to overcome what once would have brought you to your knees. All right, let's see what your... Animal Spirit Guide cards say. Scorpio. 
January 1st to the 15th, 2020, Scorpio. January 1st to the 15th, 2020, Scorpio. January 1st to the 15th, 2020, Scorpio. January 1st to the 15th, 2020, Scorpio. Fantastic. Okay. I'm just going to lay these out quietly. Ew, it's stuck. All right. There is such a sense of serene power around you that it is absolutely beautiful. So at the heart of everything, we have the porcupine spirit, which says time for beginner's mind. And as you look at things, it's time to, to see things in a new light, to look at the in-between and not see it as a curse, but as a blessing, to look at the, the sense of what you want to desire, what you desire to create on this earthly plane and be empowered and emboldened by it as you move forward, as you go after your goals. This leads you to the squirrel spirit, which says, believe in yourself as you look at yourself because you're going to rip yourself apart. I mean, when looking at the looking glass, you're going to sit there and say, oh my gosh, you know, I have to change this about me. I have to change that about me. I can't believe people don't see this. And now it's time to look at yourself with confidence, with assurance, and say, I am enough. And I know that sounds terribly arrogant, and it might actually rub you the wrong way. It kind of rubbed me the wrong way when I first heard it. But it is something I have programmed on my phone to go off twice a day to tell me, I am enough. It's, the alarm goes off, and it says, I am enough. And you know what? Now it makes me smile. It makes me smile because, yes, there is so much more I want to achieve within my life. There's so much further I want to go. And I know my flaws, and I know how, how much there is yet to do. But right now, at, at this moment, right, I am enough. And that's what you have to say to yourself, and it's have to. Yes, you know, you might sit there and rip yourself apart. You're not making the, the money you want to make, and you might not be in the relationship that you want to be in, and you might not, you know, have everything that you want to have. But at this moment in your journey, you are enough. You are enough to keep moving forward. You are enough to see your areas to expand in, to grow, to take on responsibilities, and to treat those responsibilities with respect as you move towards what it is that you desire and where it is that you desire being in your life. And I'm not saying that you don't take your responsibilities with respect, but I am saying that it is time to give yourself credit for what you are doing. Instead of always adding more, always saying, you know, achieve more, achieve more, achieve more. You know, push yourself harder, push yourself harder. Say, what I am doing right now, I'm doing a pretty darn good job. And giving yourself credit. Because you know what? In this world, even though everybody's, you know, trying to be so correct in everything, we don't seem to be giving people credit where credit is due. Saying, good job. So now it's time for you to give yourself credit. Right? Say, job well done. As you look at yourself, as you see that you put one step in front of the other, as you see that, yes, you might not have wanted to, do, wanted to do anything today, but you got it done. You did what needed to be done. And that is so important. That is so powerful. Because here, you use your mind wisely to get out of the doubts and the fears, to get out of the trap, the circle of I can't, I shouldn't, I can't, I won't, you know, I couldn't possibly... And that negative mind stream stops. And you might say, when pigs fly, I can achieve my dreams. Right there, pig is flying. You can. You can achieve what you have wanted, and you don't have to sit there and just simply protect what's vitally important, just merely existing. 
Because here she's, she's protecting her eyes. She's protecting her neck. She's protecting what needs to be protected to save her. Right? It's time for you to thrive. Use your mind wisely as you, you say enough is enough to the negative thoughts. To the negative way of looking at the way you see the world. Look at it as a gift. Look at yourself as profoundly empowered. Because you are. Everything that you have been through, every hardship, every pain, every disappointment, now leads you to know that love is all around you. And it's not people adoring you. It is the fact that spirit is with you. And that you are a child of divinity. Right? You have a bit of the God's head in you. And love surrounds you. Love is the most powerful word. Love is the most powerful emotion. And we are beings of emotion. So it's time to step into love's grace. That's why you are coming into a marriage with yourself. That's why you are embracing love and joy. This is also you know, new job opportunities, moving house, moving forward to where it is that you want to be, Scorpio. It brings you to the eternal spirit. Slow and steady wins the race as you learn, as you embrace the child's mindset, as you sit there and you realize that you are going to be learning so much that it is going to accelerate you forward. It might not be through book learning, okay? Though if you want to take a class, now's the time to do it. You know, if there's something you want to learn, something that you are passionate about or something that is creativ creatively interesting to you. Now's the time to go after it. It might not become anything that you do any more than just for yourself, but it's going to be highly beneficial to you. And then you have the rabbit here. The rabbit is a symbol of, yes, fear. You could be a scared rabbit. So there are going to be moments where you, you freeze up. That's why slow and steady wins the race. Don't sit there and berate yourself, rip yourself apart, you know, bring yourself down. Say, okay, I can move forward towards where I need to be, one step in front of the other. And if I don't make any steps today, that's okay. At least I didn't walk backwards. And even if you did, look at yourself and be kind to yourself. Because this is also embracing your inner magic. If you can see the stars falling on the rabbit. There is knowing that you can conjure up so much more within this life than you ever thought possible. And as you do so, you have the antelope spirit right here. Which says, life is speeding up. And it's time to embrace the joys and the happinesses. Because as life speeds up, you're going to sit there and say, oh my gosh, I didn't even enjoy it. I didn't even get to have the fun that I wanted to have or have the joy that I wanted to have in my life. Now is the time to embrace prosperity and success and coming together with those whom you really love, who you really enjoy spending time with. And that leads you to the stag spirit, which says, take the leap. Take the leap as you move forward, as you go after what you desire, as again, you come to the end of a cycle and you know that you are heading towards the future that you desire, the future that you desire creating, the creativity, the compassion, the understanding of what you are putting together, okay, and what you want within this life, and that each step you take has profound impact, has a profound impact on where, on where you're going. That's, that sounds rather silly, but it is true. Each step you take determines the path that you are heading and the place that you need to be. And also the way that those who have come before you follow, the way that, you know, future you develops. So don't think, oh, it doesn't matter. It matters. It matters that you take that leap for you. It matters that you embrace your power and your beauty and your truth. Because the starfish spirit says, you are open to infinite possibilities. And it's not just the nastiness of some people that get to decide things, that get to stay in your head and bring you down and tear you down and keep you from your truth and keep you from your happiness. It's time to be open to the infinite possibilities and know and believe in yourself and know that it, life is speeding up and it's time to enjoy you. It's time to embrace the happiness, to know that you are enough and you are heading in the right path. The rhino spirit says, overcome any obstacles. As you move past the negative energy, as you know the, as the vampiric energy, as those who try to pull you down by putting more and more on your shoulders, by making you doubt yourself, making you look at things and think, can I do this? You know, am I heading in the right direction? You know, that sit there and steal your happiness from you. You're overcoming these obstacles and they don't have the power over you they once did. 
because you're with the moth with the moth spirit. You surrender now. You surrender now to evolving into your truth, into the beauty of the night, because this is a lunar moth. To the fact that you see things differently, and that that difference is a profound beauty to you, and a profound understanding of your soul. It's not that you're wrong; it's that you're different, and that does not equate wrong. It leads to surrendering to the now, to surrender to. What you truly want, and the opening of your wings and the taking flight towards what you desire, leads you to know the nightingale spirit that love is all around you, and that love, that joy, that most powerful word, love, leads you to believe in yourself and believe in the way that you are moving forward. Your subconscious message for the botanical oracle cards is service. It's being of service to yourself, but also garlic is an antibacterial. Okay, it's cleaning out the wounds. It's using what you have to better yourself and move yourself forward and take away the negativity. It moves you to the spirit guide, animal spirit, which says, which is the buffalo spirit, which says the abundant universe will provide. Believe that the earth has your back. That the universe has your back because it does. It will provide. It may not be the way that you envisioned it, the way that you thought it should provide or would provide, but it will provide for you, and it will be moving you forward to the place that you need to be, Scorpio, and the place that you want to be. Right? But it will be different than the way you had envisioned. So don't say it has to be like this because it doesn't have to be. Okay? Open yourself up. Open yourself up, and the myriad of possibilities will unfold and will lead you forward. And this leads you to the subconscious message of this whole entire reading, which is the Weaver of Vision, the Queen of of Cups. This is you again, Scorpio, in your subconscious. You are weaving together what it is that you desire to create, because queens they are the they are the directors, the people behind the scenes. Okay, and you are embracing your love, your joy, your prosperity, and you are moving forward in your truth and in your power, and you are embracing the depth of your emotions and the abundance of your heart, and the the sense that there is more, because there is more out there for you, and you are coming into your power, and embracing your truth, and having your path brightened for you. All right, Scorpio. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. And may harmony always be with you. I love you all. Bye.